Hey everyone, welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. This episode, we're going to be checking out a piece by the established glitch artist known as Prince Fuego. This episode, we're going to be talking about visual energy, we're going to talk about the glitch art movement, and we're also going to talk about the Glitch Lab application. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this work, you know, you're met with a lone subject sent center here. It appears to be holding a sword in striking position. Your first impression is likely one of shock, as we just stand absolutely struck by such a striking scene here. And so, there's really no doubt that our subject's placement is impossible to miss, really takes up a majority of the composition here from top all the way to bottom there and so we also see our subjects of course accented through multiple layers of contrast here for example we see this kind of dark on light contrast and then aside from that we see even a light on dark contrast within that that's what i mean by multiple variants of accent there and so in the realm of color we really have this kind of blue kind of light blue black and white base. They're a bit of a chromatic found a monochromatic foundation, but aside from that, we do have a incredible amount of diverse color from green to red to yellow, you know, so many different colors you could point to here. So that does invigorate the composition with a bit of visual energy here. And so it also adds to the texture. Of course, you have these kind of torn pixels. We'll go a bit deeper in that here in a second. Certainly a very harsh texture there. And so there's really no doubt that our subject stands in this kind of striking motion here. It appears to have the arm in front with the blade kind of reaching outward, ready to strike. And so in our subject's pose, there is a lot of tension. There is a sense of implied motion. Of course, you have these curves. They're about to strike. There's a sense of potential energy within the work at hand, right? So that does also contribute the immense amount of visual energy within the work before us here. And so what you'll also notice are these kind of shadows here. Of course, these do define kind of a foundation of the base as our subject's torso. But aside from that, you know, they define our subject. They really pop out and gives a bit of dynamism within the work at hand. And so with this in mind, it's hard to say who or what our subject is. So, you know, what do y'all see when you view this piece? What do you think we're looking at? And how do you feel when you view this piece? Personally, I was leaning towards a samurai. This looks like a katana of some sorts, especially with that hilt. It's hard to say for sure, though. But if it is a samurai, you know, the samurai were a Japanese class of warriors. They acted as kind of bodyguards of the Daimo elites, and they originated most likely as the horseback warriors known as the Amishi. And so a lot of different things you can point to there if this is a samurai. And so there's really no doubt that these torn pixels, they burn into memory in some of the most iconic elements of the work at hand. And they are reminiscent of the way in which LCD, liquid crystal displays, of course, those modern screens break. If you've ever broken a screen, you can kind of tell what I mean. It kind of just flows and shatters in such a almost beautiful way. You know, we see that within the work at hand here. Of course, glitch art always trying to do those deliberate distortions. And so with this in mind, glitch artists always look to deliberately change the digital world. You know, one of the things that got me into glitch art, I was looking at someone they can actually, you can take the metadata of a picture put it into a text doc, change or delete some areas, and the result, it'll actually distort and kind of change image at hand there. So I think that's incredibly interesting here. Of course, Glitch Art has seen an incredible rise, especially in the past decade here. And I was talking to the original artist, so the original artist does edits in Glitch Lab, so Glitch Lab is an application if y'all want to check that out. And the artist was talking about, it really wants to inspire others to get into the Glitch Art movement. So if you're looking at this work, if you're absolutely stunned by this work, or if you've admired interested in glitch art I would surely 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 recommend checking out at least the glitch lab application but aside from that there's a lot of different programs you could build up to such as Photoshop a lot of different things you can point to there so I really hope y'all enjoyed today if y'all even remotely enjoyed this piece go check out the glitch art world it's really going to be worth your time there and if y'all did enjoy this piece go check out the original artist Quince Fuego always doing some really good stuff in the glitch art so if y'all enjoyed this piece go make sure to check out the artist and give glitch art a little bit of love so hope y'all enjoyed today I'll see y'all on the next episode my name is Apollo this was Apollo Art Analysis and I'll see y'all next time we hope you enjoyed today's episode if you'd like to support our work directly please check out our Apollo community tokens Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day thanks for listening